I was listening to Stop Line TV. I immediately stopped listening to Stop Line TV. Stop Line TV was pretty much playing uh, Bizarro's Live when everybody was up there talking about Kimmy. I mean, baby, they had a panel panel and everybody was pretty much going in on Kimmy. And I was like, it was kind of disgusting. No, I don't say kind of disgusting. It was kind of, it, it wasn't kind of disgusting. It was disgusting because in I, I, some of the people I get because they really got a problem with Kimmy and they just really want to, you know, make their thing work and work and work and do what it do and do what it do. And it's fine. Do you. I ain't complaining about what you do. Do you. But I didn't like Yaya. And that's my girl. And I said that the other day. Only because Yaya just came out of a situation. And, you know, I'm like, girl, you don't want that energy to fall back on you. And also, um, on site April. Now, don't on site April got somebody, don't somebody down her family every third Thursday. I was like, on site April, <laughs> what are you doing? Every third Thursday, somebody in on site April family uh, die. And she up there, I mean, she was just going in. I was like, dang, on site April, what was, I mean, it's, it's, hey, Cali girl, it's roasting and gagging, roasting and gagging. Hey, Brit, Brat, Brit, 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 Brat, hey, Brie Brat, it was like, girl, it's roasting and gagging, but now y'all want people to be dead? I was like, damn, really? Ah! I was like, it was, is it that serious? That's, I'm going to tell you, that's why I, when I stopped, when I stepped away for what, a week or two weeks or whatever the hell it was, I think that's how long it was. Because Kwani, it really touched me in my spirit when Kwani was talking about, Oh, she want me dead. She want me this. And, and oh, she hope I would die and he could be all they did to me. That really touched my spirit. It really, and plus, she was kind of going in on Ronnie Q's mama and all this kind of stuff. And it kind of like, like, damn. Um, and y'all know, y'all don't come to me like, how dare you say anything? You know, you talk about um, the ghosts of chickens. The ghost of chicken salad. I was like, yeah. But it was a difference in in Kwani's delivery. Cause y'all know Kwani, woo, child, Kwani could deliver some blows, baby. But that touched me that time when Kwani was talking about, oh bitch, I would die. I hope you would die. And I actually called Kwani. I was like, so girl, you want me to die and and, and get killed and and buried in, in my grave and all that kind of stuff. I was like, damn, Kwani, it's just roasting and gagging, girl. So I just couldn't believe some of the things those people were saying. I I, I stopped. Um, I stopped watching Stop Line TV. I stopped watching Pizarro when everybody got, well, I didn't see every, I didn't know that I didn't know that once I April said those things. I didn't know Mimi checking fake holes said those things. I don't know who all those people were. I was like, damn. Damn. I didn't know everybody had a war with Kimmy like that, that they wanted her dead. Really? Kimmy, listen to that song. I don't know. It's on my um, it's on my whatever you call it. It's on my Duchess Kelly Love page. It's on my community wall. It's a well, I think I put it on this community wall as well. It's a wonderful, wonderful song. Um, Kwani has a way, but I love her. I, girl, Kwani is 
Kwani is is Kwani, and I adore Kwani. I don't get Kwani to say some things about me, but when she says she wished death on me, I was like, bitch. I, I it just it changed my my spirit. It was like, oh, my spirit got kind of crooked, and I was like, I was stuck in a in a something. I was like, damn girl, what the fuck? But um, yeah, those though it was kind of that was that was kind of harsh. I was like, damn, what happened to the roasting and gagging and, and shit like that? And but damn, death, death, death. I mean, it was it was very disturbing. I was like, damn. But hey, so each his own, baby. If that made them feel good, whatever, whatever, whatever. I guess if they got what they want to say out, it made them feel good. I was like, child, that's y'all. But I'm like, for y'all, y'all, I didn't like y'all, y'all saying anything because you know, I got much love for my y'all, y'all. But she was just dealing with a situation. You don't want those negative. Even listening to that shit was like, oh my god, like oh, like oh, like, I couldn't. I had to stop. And and on site April, I was really surprised at her because every third Thursday, girl, she's planning a goddamn funeral. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what is going on with you people, child? But hey, to each his goddamn own. What's up, apartment two one two uh, two? So with that being said, I'm gonna say it like this. So when I was listening to Duchess Kelly Love saying what he was saying about some of it, because he was talking about he was disappointed in Faith Yaya, um, and he explained why he was disappointed in her. And I understood that. And somebody hit Kelly Love's channel and said that uh, it's the good message but wrong messenger. And that's where I wanted to talk about this particular situation from and where it sparked my curiosity. Because when it comes to suicide, there is never a wrong messenger when it comes to suicide. Now, are there cases where there is um, right message, wrong messenger? Yes. Case in point, if someone is an abuser, but then gets on here talking about um, we need to stop abusing people, but they are a habitual abuser, that's right message, wrong messenger. But when it comes to suicide, is anyone ever a wrong messenger when it comes to suicide? No, because everyone is going through something somewhere, okay? Everyone is, um, people are vulnerable. Now, people have the right to say where um, it was the wrong time because this year is where people, where suicide rates are the highest. Well, this is the perfect time to talk about it, okay? Because you might stop somebody from committing suicide um, and stuff like that. So I was going on the point to where there is never a wrong messenger when it comes to um, somebody talking about preventing suicide. There is never a wrong messenger. As a matter of fact, the perfect messenger is someone that was there, someone that was on the edge. Some that was that's the perfect messenger to someone that was at the precipice but was able to pull themselves back. Either somebody pulled them back or they pulled themselves back or it was a joint effort. So that is the perfect messenger. Now, I personally don't know what anyone outside of Sean Bradley goes through, okay? Um, are we fucked up towards each other on here? Yes, we definitely are fucked up towards each other on here. Um, but at the end of the day, when it comes to us being fucked up to one another, it is the so-called beef sector. Um, as, as far as I'm concerned, people are like, all's fair, it is fair. Um, but I feel as though when Kimmy was talking about her suicide, is that's what she was talking about, because I did not see it. Um, is that's what she was talking about? I feel as though that was for her and her people. Um, people being upset about um Kimmy receiving cash apps or things like that. Why would you be upset about that when that message is not for you? That message, I think, was for her and the people that rock with her and the people that support her. We all have people that support us. We all have people that watch us that don't support us. But if you feel like that message touched you in a certain way, in a good way or a profound way, that was for you. So it's never a wrong messenger. Now, does Kimmy have a plethora of enemies on this motherfucker? Yes, she motherfucking does. Um, do we all have a plethora of enemies on here? I would say we do. It is what it is. Uh, but it, that comes to your individual self. To where if, if if a bitch you don't like was like, I'm I'm suicidal. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? And that, that's me all day, every day. Okay. Because it's a bitch I don't fuck with. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dwell into that. I'm not gonna pick that up and carry that. But that's just me.
speaking to the people that fuck with me and rock with me and love me and care for me. Okay? Because anybody else can do what the fuck they want to do. But my thing is, it's like, again, Kelly Love was like, face Yaya apparently, from what I understand, was just, just got out the hospital. From what Kelly, if I if I got it correctly, that lady just got out the hospital for whatever reason, and here you are on the panel dragging a bitch. Oh, uh, you could be going back. To, so it's things like that, and I was like, so I understood where he was coming from. I agree with you, Sean, but I think the other was that the person um told people to off themselves before. We all have. I mean, we all have. We all have. Remember a point in time to where, um, when we, we, years ago, when Chopper didn't, me and Chopper got into it, whatever, because Chopper, um, didn't think I, Chopper wanted me to take his side when it came to him and Susie. I did not take his side, and then he was like, "Well, I'm suicidal or something like that, whatever." And I was like, "Well, okay, bitch, what's the church? What, 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 and, and put some limit, you know? I, I see some rights, whatever." It's like so. I'm not saying don't talk about a bitch, okay? You do what the fuck you want to do. All I'm saying is that, based on what Kelly Love was saying, someone was in the hospital. Someone was in the motherfucking hospital, and then you jump out the hospital, jump on YouTube, and you get into a suicidal drag about a bitch. Ooh, it's kind of morbid. It's kind of speaking your own demise into existence, especially if one for the grace of God, there go I, just a few seconds. You know what I'm saying? So it's shit like that that be happening. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying don't do what the fuck you want to do. But I'm just, what I can't do, what I ain't going to do. Now, if you come, if you coming at me and you like, fuck you, shout brother, I'm suicidal. I'm going to say this to anybody that's motherfucking suicidal and homicidal or whatever. Never be homicidal, okay? Never be homicidal. Like that man at Walmart. We've all said some of the most famous things when it's in back and forth. Her video was not a roast video, though. Exactly. So that's that's what I'm on or whatever. But again, you have it's up to you. It is up to you. It is up to you. My whole thing about it is there is never a wrong messenger when it comes to suicide prevention. There is never a wrong messenger. In this video, my message was not about suicide prevention. It was about homicidal prevention. If you feel it, if you feel like you got a tick, tick, boom, and you want to tick off everybody else, then boom yourself. No, bitch. Skip the tick and go straight to the boom. Okay? Okay? On yourself. Um, We don't go with no crowds. We not running after, we don't do the crowds. We are leaders, okay? And and most of all, we're adults. And and when it even comes to the comes to beef sector, girl, F them, okay? It's very low life. It's very disgusting. And it's demonic. And at some point, you know, you just get sick of it because it's like, I'm not about to keep playing with them doggone demons over there. Okay. Now, um, I, I want to say this because something is on my spirit and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. Hey, Apple, thank you so much, dear. Yes, we are. Yes, we are different. You know, the crowd be chasing after some other ish. Um, you know, I know a lot of people in the beef sector. They only see numbers, and that's fine. You know, even though we ain't, ain't nobody over here really getting on, you know. But we that's really what it's driven by. And it has really become a sick, disgusting place because it's led by a bunch of low lives. Because a lot of us then fell back because we're not interested. <laughs> the good old days are gone. Okay, let's be very clear. And so what you have left is just panels full of demons that's supposed to be mothers on a holiday, but ain't spent not even five minutes with a mother sucking kids. This is what we're left with. Uh-huh. A bunch of hollering ass. That's all it is, Um, beautiful. That's all it is. A bunch of hollering, miserable niggas that's supposed to be mothers, but spend no time with their children. And they get clapped up only by the other low lives, though. Over here at Babe Nation, we don't celebrate the foolishness. <laughs> oh, let's talk about it. We don't celebrate the foolishness. Um, that song I played, I would like to dedicate it to Kimmy. Yes, Kimmy and I are on the up and up. But I feel like I would feel this way even if we weren't on the up and up. 
because what I have been witnessing is disgusting. Oh yes, baby. Oh, it's nasty. These folks don't got no life, babe nation. They don't have any love in their lives. And it's okay. You know, everybody don't have people in their life. That's, that's not even abnormal for you not to have family or you not to have friends. Truth be told, that's not even abnormal, okay? I know society and Instagram and shit make you wanna feel like if you're not surrounded by 10, 10, girl, 10 females or 10 best men, and if you're not on vacation every weekend, and if you're not living in a big old house, and if you're not married, and if you don't got this and don't got that, you ain't no shit. But the reality is, it's a lot of people out here who don't have nobody. Oh, we gonna talk about it. <laughs> we gonna deal in reality today because this sector does not deal in reality at all. The reality is, it's a lot of people that don't have nobody. Oh, let's talk about it. It don't make them strange. It doesn't make them wrong. It doesn't make them weird. It just makes them normal. Give me a second, let me drink some water. Been listening now. I haven't heard what Kimmy said for myself. I didn't hear Kimmy say it. I did go and look for it. I couldn't find it. But it's enough people out here talking about her to let me know what she said. Okay. That's the part. The, the fact that it's so many people out here talking about her. It's so many people out here making jokes about it. As if, have, as if suicide isn't real. 